Welcome. All right. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, factor by applying the difference of two squares. And you know, throughout this whole course, we've been doing so many square numbers. And you look at three and you say, all right, three is not a square number. So how am I going to be able to do this? Well, just because it's not a square number does not mean we cannot uh, factor this by applying the difference of two squares. So again, to solve this, we're going to set this equal to 0. And therefore, we'll have x squared minus 3. Now again, we need to be able to factor this. So what I like to do is, again, if you remember the difference of two squares factoring technique was a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. So what we want to do is be able to determine you know, what are our a's and what are our b's. So we can definitely say that this is a squared. And this is b squared. Forget about the minus. We already know that's there. We just want to say our a squared and b squared. So I can say a squared equals x squared, and b squared equals 3. Again, we're not going to worry about the negative. So to solve for a, I take the square root, and a equals x. To solve for b, I take the square root, and b equals the square root of 3. So therefore, by factoring this, I can write 0 equals x minus the square root of 3 times x plus the square root of 3. And yes, those are irrational numbers, but I can solve that by factoring by, you know, use, um, by applying the difference of two squares. Then I can set these both equal to 0. Rosa, can you come to the main office, please? Rosa, please come to the main office. Mm, sorry. So now I go ahead and add on both sides. And therefore, I have x equals the square root of 3 and x equals negative square root of 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve uh, without a square number, but by using the difference of two squares. Thanks. Thanks.